Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Gerald Beyer for Alnet uh, Italian Language Learning. And uh, so today we're going to do our lesson uh, number 32. And so we'll start by a story. So I have to buy a video game. So let's do it. Okay, so now it's loading. So I'm, I will try to do as many... Yes, I just wanted to say that I will try to do as many uh, exercises uh, in 30 minutes, so for one lesson. And so let's uh, just get uh, down to business. And devo comprare un video gioco. So gioco means uh, game, so video gioco, video game. Devo, we know, the verb uh, uh, to have to, to have to, so yo devo, I need, or I have to. Comprare, we know, it means to buy, so I have to buy a video game. Devo, com Devo comprare un videogioco. Devo comprare un videogioco. Eddie e Junior sono in un negozio. Eddie e Junior sono in un negozio. So, they are in a store, negozio means store, negozio. Papà! Devo comprare un videogioco! Papà! Devo comprare un videogioco. So that I need, I have to buy a video game. Tu non devi comprare un videogioco. Tu non devi comprare un videogioco. Tu non devi. Io devo, tu devi. So we are now uh, getting used to this uh, conjugation. And uh, tu, so Eddie, the, the dad says, Tu non devi comprare. You don't have to buy. A video game so wants to buy a video game juniors that wants to buy a video game no that's wrong that's not Por what's favore. happening here Questo video gioco di robot è molto divertente. so per favore questo video gioco di robot è molto divertente divertente means fun e molto is a lot of fun or it's a lot of fun, it, it's very entertaining, let's say. So, divertente. Per favore, please, questo, this video game, so video gioco, questo video gioco di robot. This uh, robot video game is very entertaining or fun. Junior, tu non devi comprare questo video gioco. Tu vuoi comprare questo video gioco. Okay, here we hear the dad speaking, Eddie. So, Junior, tu non devi comprare questo video gioco. Tu vuoi comprare. So, you want to buy. You don't have to, but you want to buy questo video gioco. Okay. Okay, io voglio comprare questo video gioco. Volere. Posso comprarlo? Okay, so, okay, io voglio comprare questo video gioco. Posso comprarlo? Uh, can I? So, can I? Posso? Comprarlo. Tu no, puoi? No, tu hai... No, tu hai uh, molti videogiochi. Molti videogiochi? So, we see the verb to have again. Avere. Tu hai, io o tu hai. Molti videogiochi. Hai ragione. Allora, andiamo a casa? Andare. To go. Allora, andare a casa. Uh, then uh, let's go, let's go home. Uh, hai ragione, hai ragione means uh, you're right, you have uh, the right uh, thinking, the right logic, let's say. Or you, you have, uh, how to say, uh, I'm trying to find the right word for ragione, ragione. Uh, yeah, you have the right logic, let's say. No, andiamo a casa di Vikram. No, andiamo a casa di Vikram. So, let's go to Vikram's house. Ma casa di Vikram è noiosa. Ma casa di Vikram è noiosa. So, but, so we know ma means but. But uh, the but Vikram's house is noyosa. This is a new 
word, uh, an adjective, boring, noiosa. So la casa è noiosa. Yeah, noioso, noiosa. Noioso, noiosa. It's a little bit uh, the, well, it is the antonym of the word uh, divertente. Noioso. Ma la sua TV è grande e io devo guardare la partita. Ma la sua, so his TV, uh, TV è grande e io devo guardare. I have to watch, I have to watch, I have to, to see. Uh, la partita, la partita is just the match, the game, and... Uh, Papà, tu non devi guardare la partita, tu vuoi guardare la partita. So now Junior is being smart and uh, he's using the same logic as uh, his dad. So Papà, tu non devi guardare la partita, you don't have to watch the game. Tu vuoi guarda guardare la partita. So you want to, to watch the, the match or the game. So how funny, both Eddie and Junior said they have to do something when they only want to do it. That's right, that's what happened in this story. So that's the end of the story, but we still have to do the vocabulary section, so let's get to it. So, to buy, comprare, of course, comprare. game, partita. partita. I think in Spanish it's a partido, but partido, partita. Partido, partita, yes. You want, uh, tu vuoi. Tu vuoi. We have seen that a lot. And this new adjective, boring, noiosa. Noiosa. And this is questo. questo. This is nothing new. All right, we're done here. I'm going to pause and see you in a bit for the second exercise. All right, guys, welcome back. Great to have you uh, again. And uh, we just did the story. We are going to... Rush to the second exercise here, and let's see what uh, Do has to offer. She leaves uh, a candy. She leaves. She leaves a candy. What does that mean? Ah, lascia, lasciare. Lascia. So we're gonna write it like this: lei lascia una caramella. Nice. Non sappiamo perché. Non sappiamo perché. But we double P. That's what I was thinking. Sappiamo, we don't know, yeah? And he has his own costume. Uh, so, uh, he. So, lui. A. A. Il proprio. Il proprio. Costume. Costume. Yeah. No, non ricordano. Non ricordano. Ricordano. It's a they. So, no, they don't. They do not remember. Ricordare. Ricordano. Lui finisce Turimo. la cena. Lui finisce. So, finisce. It's not uh, also a regular verb. So, have to be careful here. No, they can't. Non po sono. Po sono. Po sono. Right. Non ho mele. Non ho mele. Let's listen to it. Non ho mele. Yeah, I don't have apples. How much juice? So. Juice, it's uncountable, so how much? Quanto? Il succo, so it has to be quanto, quanto. cannot be quanta. Quanto succo? Succo. E bevono. Bevono. Because they, so it has to be bevono. Abbiamo gatti. Hmm? Abbiamo gatti. So, abbiamo gatti. We have cats. And the girl is hungry. It's very easy. La ragazza ha fame. And let's move on. We leave uh, the pasta on the plate. So noi lasciamo. I'm not sure how to write this. Lasciare, uh, lascia. Lasciamo. 
lasciamo let's see lasciamo we leave so we leave uh, la pasta nel piatto that's good okay correct non non bevo olio non bevo olio non bevo olio I don't drink uh, oil so non bevo olio he understands uh, how do you say lui so we're gonna use lui sapere uh, no. well no sapere is to know it's capire lui capire capire capisce so mm -hmm. that's how you you have to conjugate it lui capisce lui capisce le donne let's do it like that and see oh my lui capisce le donne ok she writes so lei scrive nel giornale giornale good and i have so io ho uh, la gioielleria 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 let's see but i didn't write yo probably perfect okay that was uh, very challenging i have to say and that's because uh, you know we had different verbs and we needed to conjugate them so it was very interesting indeed so guys welcome back and we are now going to do our third uh, exercise for this um, lesson and uh, it's going to be about uh, describe colors so we know stuffs about the colors we already learned um, una camicia the color names so o una camicia colorata colorata means colorful so o una camicia colorata so i have a colorful shirt and pink is always rosa rosa and i capotti non sono gialli i capotti i capotti non sono so the coats are not yellow i capotti non sono gialli and red rosso 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 sorry that's the right way to say una banana è gialla una banana è gialla una banana è gialla so a banana is yellow and costume it's costume costume his sue sue red rosso Rosso. sandalo e camicia Cami la mia camicia non è bianca so because of uh, the gender and the number black it's going to be nero Mero. stocking is calza. calza it's the same as socks so stocking leggings and so on they all go by calza in italian uh, well that's what i've learned rosso, rosso. Dove, 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 and cosa? La banana, so, le banane sono gialle. That's what you say. Il colore arancione. Il colore arancione. So the, the color orange. Yes, got it. And lui ha pantaloni, so pantaloni rossi, rossi. La mia camicia è arancione. La mia camicia mi è, è arancione. Arancione. Got that? Le camicie sono rosse. Le camicie. So the shirts are... 
the shirts are which color? Or red? Yeah, rosse. Ho le tasche azzurre. Ho le tasche azzurre. Azzurre. So, tasca, tasche. The pockets, blue pockets, black, nero. Nero. Shoe, scarpa. Scarpa. Glove, guanto. Guanto. Lana, Lana. wool and viola. Viola. So, guanto. Remember this for gloves. And the pink pants are not mine. So, i pantaloni. Pantaloni. Rosa. Rosa. Rosa, sorry. I pantaloni rosa non, non. sono mie. so, miei. miei. So, lei, lei, she is as red as a tomato. So, she is. Lei è e rosa. Rosa. Come, come un pomodoro. Pomodoro. Perfetto. Okay, that was our third exercise. Let me pause this. Okay, guys, so that's really cool. We did the uh, three exercises. So we are done with uh, unit uh, 11. So we're going to now uh, start with unit, uh, sorry, we're done with unit 10, but we're gonna move to unit 11. And uh, unit 11 is about uh, how to form complex sentences. So conjunctions, how to use conjunctions. Uh, so how to uh, join two sentences together by the use of uh, of conjunctions and so that's what is called in English a complex sentence so a simple sentence is just one phrase and you know but let's uh, look at the guidebook for this unit and we'll get uh, a better understanding of the grammar that we will learn about and um, also the key phrases. So, form complex sentences. Lui beve vino, ma non beve birra. So, lui beve. Bere, it's the infinitive to drink. So, lui beve vino, ma non beve birra. So, ma, it's but. So, he drinks uh, he drinks wine. So, lui beve vino. Lui non beve birra. And if we make a complex sentence, we can use the conjunction but so we beve vino ma non beve birra notice the the comma just before the conjunction yes so the second one is se non cucino non mangio so if i do not cook i do not eat so here the conjunction is if and io non parlo mentre mangio so when I eat, or let's say it's not quando, quando io mangio, io non parlo. But uh, another way to put it is just while, so during the time, during. It's not when, it's not, you know, but while I'm eating, I'm not, uh, I'm not speaking, I'm not talking. So io non parlo, mentre, this is while, yeah. And let's see the other one. The next one is lei non mangia né polo né pesce. Here you have to be very careful. It's uh, the use of neither nor. So she eats neither chicken nor fish. But in Italian you have to negate it. You have to say she doesn't eat chicken or she doesn't eat uh, either chicken or... So it, it's quite uh, strange, but you have to negate it. But that's the way it is, so please uh, be mindful here. And... Uh, Io mangio uh, sia verdura che carne. So this is the both. We have seen the neither nor, we have seen the... the now we are seeing the both this and that i eat both veget uh, vegetables vegetables i eat both vegetables and meat so 
Eu mangio sia verdura che carne. Uh, I'm, I'm very, how would say, uh, tempted to say it in, in French because it's quite interesting, in, you know, to, to give it a try. Like, if you say, je mange, je mange uh, des légumes ainsi que de la viande. Je mange des légumes. Je mange non seulement des légumes, mais de la viande aussi. Well, it's like not only, but, but, uh, yeah, not only, but, this is another way to put it, but, okay, let's not waste uh, too much time here, but it's very interesting to see how uh, the Italians speak in, it's a beautiful language, that's the whole purpose of learning it, and uh, I hope you're enjoying this lesson. Well, here is a tip. Don't be so negative. You've already come across the negative words no and non. So no means no, 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 yes, no. And non means uh, not. But uh, how can you say neither nor in Italian? You can use a similar pattern and say nene. So we've seen that, but yes. Lei non mangia né polo né pesce. She eats neither chicken nor fish. Careful. So notice how in Italian you still need to add non before the verb, even if you uh, saying nene. Okay. So that's uh, what I stressed and underlined already. So I think now we got uh, the gist of this uh, unit, and let's put our knowledge. Uh, to to test to the test sorry and uh, so this is our first exercise of this one but the fourth for the session quanti ragazzi mangiano pesce quanti ragazzi mangiano pesce so you're asking how many girls uh, eat uh, fish uh, ragazzi so boys sorry dove dove sono le domande Dove sono le domande? Where are the questions? Where are the questions? Domande? The request also, I think. No, requesta. I think that's another thing. Okay. Quale balena? Quale balena? Which, uh, which whale? Quale balena? Remember this? So, quale can only take two forms. Uh, well, almost two forms. There's like a sub form. But it can be quale quale. Yeah? How do you see the sandwich? How do you eat, sorry? How do you eat the sandwich? Come? Come? Come mangi il, Ma, il panino? Panino. Perché? 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 It's, uh, of course, why? Perché? And... Non ho una risposta. Non ho una risposta. I don't have an answer. Risposta, domanda, risposta. Qual è? Qual è? Qual è? Which, which is it? Which is it? Quali uomini leggono il giornale? Leggono, it's just the verb leggere, so leggono. Quali uomini? How many? Uh, quali? Uh, which? Yeah. Quali? It's not... Uh, Quanti? Quanti is how many? Quanta acqua? So here we have how much and not how many because acqua is uncountable. So how much water do you drink? Okay, we got that. Who am I? Chi sono io? Io. Who am I? Chi sono io? How many girls are in... The zoo, so quante ragazze sono, it's just the verb essere, nothing uh, difficult here. Cose, so what, what is it, what is it, what is it? How much bread do you eat, how much, again, bread is pane, il pane, so it's gonna be quanto this time, what? not quanta, because it's a uh, masculine now, so quanto pane, 
Manji. Manji. And when. So this is very interesting because we haven't seen this word for a while now. Cuando uh, escribe. Cuando escribe. When do you write? When do you write? What do you read? Uh, what do you read? It's cosa. Cosa leggi? Cosa leggi? Let's see if I'm right here. Yes. Am I? I am. I am right. Okay, guys. So this is done. That's uh, our fourth exercise. And uh, I'll pause. Okay. That's fantastic. So we are moving fast and we are in uh, unit um, 11. So we now have uh, the story uh, exercise. And uh, let's see what we can uh, do here. Dove la tua ragazza? So ragazza can be uh, used to mean girl. So una ragazza, a girl, or a girlfriend. So dove la tua ragazza? Where is your girlfriend? Bea è all'aeroporto. Bea è all'aeroporto. So Bea is at the airport, all'aeroporto. Lei aeroporto. parla con un uomo che lavora all'aeroporto. Lei parla con un uomo. So she's speaking or she's she talks to to a, uh, to a man with a man here with she's talking with with a man che lavoro who works at the airport lavorare it's to ciao it's to hai work. bisogno di aiuto ciao hai bisogno di aiuto uh, so hi do you need help so hai bisogno it's like you need yeah Aiuto. Sì, ho un biglietto per Londra. Aiuta, it's in Spanish. Aiuto in, uh, in Italian. Sì, ho un biglietto per Londra. So I have a, e vorrei un posto a ticket to, mia have a ticket to, to London. E vorrei un posto accanto, accanto, next to, accanto. So io vorrei, it's not io voglio. Uh, volere, it's more I would like in the polite form. So, and I would like un posto, a seat, accanto, next to, alla mia, next to my girlfriend. Okay, so Bea wants to sit beside her girlfriend on the plane. Yes, that's right. Okay, abbiamo due posti vicini. So, okay, we have two seats uh, uh, next to each other. So, vicini, together. Uh, insieme means together, but vicini is it's close, close to each other. Yeah. So, the man tells Bea that there are two seats together on the plate. Yeah. On the plane. Fantastico. Fantastic. Mm. Dove è la tua ragazza? Dove è la tua ragazza? Where is your girlfriend? Non lo so, ho bisogno di aiuto per trovarla. So, I don't know, ho bisogno, I need help, so ho bisogno di aiuto per trovarla, to find her. And, so choose the option that means to find her, trovarla. Trovare, but trovare is to find her. Come? Uh, how? Mm, lei è alta, ha i capelli neri. Come? It's the how is she, eh? in this in this context and uh, lei è alta ha i capelli neri so she is tall and she has black hair ok, okay. le piace fare sport e ballare le piace fare sport e ballare so piace le piace fare she likes to do sport and to dance she likes dancing she likes uh, uh, doing sport and dancing. That's how oh. I should say it. Oh. Le piacciono i gatti, ma non le piace cucinare. Le piacciono i gatti, ma non le piace cucinare. So she she likes cats, but uh, does not uh, like uh, cooking. Okay. Come si chiama? Come si chiama? Uh, what's your name? What what's uh, what's her name? Yeah. What's her name? Come si chiama? And why does the man want to know about Bea's girlfriend? 
Well, he's trying to help Bea find her. That's right. Ah, no lo so. So, Bea doesn't know. So, non lo so. I don't know. Cosa? Non sai il nome della tua ragazza? Non sai il nome della tua ragazza? You don't know the name of your... Of, of your girlfriend? Io non ho ancora una ragazza. Io non ho ancora una ragazza. So, ancora means uh, yet, you know. So, I, I don't have a girlfriend yet. Ho bisogno di aiuto per trovare una ragazza. So, I need help to find a girlfriend. Ho bisogno di aiuto per trovar, trovare una ragazza. So, Bea wants to sit next to someone who can be her girlfriend, I guess. And uh, so, airport, it's aeroporto. aeroporto. Here, it's capelli. capelli. Where's, it's uh, dove. dove. Man, it's uomo. uomo. And trovare is to find. Tro okay, that's cool. We did it, guys. And uh, so, we need to stop. Let me... Yes, I was looking at the time and I see that we have passed 30 minutes and this lesson should stop here. And uh, yes, so I really hope uh, that you liked uh, this lesson and that uh, you managed to revise a little bit your Italian, your vocabulary, your grammar, your pronunciation maybe, if you're um, doing the exercises together with me. So thank you so much. Uh, grazie mille. Thank you so much. And ci vediamo alla, alla, how do you say, uh, pro, I forgot how to say the next, uh, prossima, alla prossima uh, volta. Ci vediamo alla prossima volta, alla prossima lezione. Arrivederci, ciao ciao.